That bar was Pub on Park in Cranston. <laughs> Marshall, a great guy, let us use it for two days there as well. And uh, we filmed all the bar and a lot of the outside stuff where Adam starts jump with them and when she walks them out, that's all behind the bowling alley there. We had no permit, so we had to do what we had to do. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the distributor I'm setting up right now, and uh, they'll, once they approve it, they'll take it in picture. And I did send it to a few festivals, so I'm, uh, I should hear from them within the next couple of months. One camera. It was a magic, uh, magic, black magic. Black magic. K4. Yeah. Was it the back room? Was it at the bar? I can't say where that room is. <laughs> That was a real Petriaka room. <laughs> they, oh, every gambling, every bet they went to New England went in that room. It was wires. Those wires. They didn't want me to show up, but I did it anyway. <laughs> it's crazy. Sorry. Oh, here we go. It's a Republican and a Democrat. We're divided enough in this country. You want to divide us more? I don't give a crap if it's gravy or sauce, whatever you call it, as long as it's good. That's all that matters. Well, my family, straight from Sicily, my mom never said the word gravy in her life. She said asasa. Translated to sauce. I'm totally right. Okay. Anyone else? What? Right next to Palermo, Bagaria. Don't mess with me. Messina. Messina? Oh, it's beautiful there. Yeah, I'm working on my dual citizenship actually. Oh, wow. Yeah, the hell they have it. I'm getting out of something. I'm getting the hell out of here. Yes, Jane. So, after writing so much for the Yeah. Yeah. I'm focused more on film yeah. Yeah, now. Because that, that, that's been my whole dream since I was a child, this film. And I, I enjoy writing screenplays more than play. The, I, got a, I did theater, I was a theater major. My, my acting teacher is actually here, uh, Bert Silverberg. I went to CCRI, I was a theater major. And he didn't get to see me act at all. Yeah. I wasn't in at all. So uh, uh, he seen me before in many places. And um, I, I enjoy theater, I love theater. That's where I started. And I, I did the theater group because it's just it's easier to do than to put a whole production together. But I hit the point after the after the uh, pandemic, uh, the little theater group I had in Cranston, you know, everything shut down, and then I was finally building an audience and it died off. So I kind of had to regroup and build myself up again, and I decided to do it in film this time, in case the next pandemic comes, they can't they can watch the movies on, <laughs> on Netflix or something. You know? Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm hoping to do. I'm hoping eventually. I gotta get more of a hang of it. But that North End, that North End movie, like I said, I definitely want to play my dad in that. So I may have somebody else to direct it. He's gonna love her accent too, right? What's that? Oh yeah, she's from New Jersey. Yeah, I know. New Jersey, yeah. Next film? Whenever you guys give me money. I, said, I can't, no, there's a expression, no dough, no show. <laughs> oh, I, I actually, yeah, you, I was talking to him this week, the last week I saw him. And uh, I'm working on a, because if anybody see me do the Buddy show, I play Buddy CNC in a one man show, a couple of you. I've been working on a script about Buddy as well. Not his whole life, because that would be like uh, too much. I'm focused on just one period of his life when he was doing a radio show. His relationship with Wendy and how she inspired him to run for mayor again, he made his big comeback. I'm focused on that area. It's a love story between Wendy and the city. And he chooses the city. So. When, when, when you do that, come on, I'll work with you. Huh? I want to work with you. You want to work with me? Yeah. If you got money, you can be in. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I, got, I, got, I got something better than money. <laughs> your looks. I get, no, I get info. Oh, your info, okay. <laughs> Anybody else? Any other questions? <laughs> Any questions for the actors? <laughs> You did a great job. Why did you cut the scene where Adam spells his last name? He spelled it? Yeah, one of the takes. Oh, one of the takes? I don't know. 
Yeah, yeah. It was so, we, fil we filmed in seven days this thing. It was crazy. And the, um, I don't know, Bob, you want to talk about the seven days? Uh, explain what happened. Amazing seven days. So Nick um, pushed me about being involved with it. And I read the script. I thought it was fantastic. So I got involved. Before that, he asked me to play the role of Joey. And he said, we're going to do it in seven days. I was like, make a cheese. You know, I've known a couple other guys who've done these movies and went on for months. So um, Nick did an unbelievable job in scheduling it. Because you know, he's estimating how long each scene will take. And you know, there was times that were, it was shorter. Most of the time, it was actually longer. But it was done every day. What he wanted to get done got done. And you know, we were talking about the different locations that he did. And it worked as good as a guy who's been doing it for 20 years of his life or something. It was amazing. So uh, Nick uh, is very, very talented, as you know. And I didn't realize how we could also organize the um, actual shooting. Yeah, amazing. Seven days. We got an hour and 15 minute movie done. Yeah. The other thing that was fantastic is that we had a great crew as far as the cameraman, the editor, the photography, the sound man. You know, the first day we had, what, five guys over at the house on Cumberland Farms? Yeah. And the guys in one of those lower things doing the, the camera. Yeah. Was, we had a real professional crew. Um, and that was really the only reason I wanted to get Bob. So I knew that they would have good actors and good, um, you know, good professional uh, crew for the uh, sound and the filming, too. So it was uh, quite, a, quite a thing to get it done in seven days. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the two people that are not from here um, Nick and Rebecca. are Nick and Rebecca. Nick is from the Hudson oh, Valley Hudson area Valley of, New York. of New York. And actually, Rebecca was a uh, college student at uh, Berkeley, Berkeley yeah. when she lives in California. That was her song at the credits. That was her song at the end of the credits. She lives in California. We got lucky enough, it was her senior year at Berkeley. And uh, she auditioned for it. We had uh, me and Savino play Richie. We cast it through backstage, and we got like 700 submissions. And we got tons for our character. But as soon as I saw her tape, I'm like, it's her. And I would see other girls for weeks, and I always go back to her, I say, she's the one. She's the one. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, you know, and yeah, the crew, we got lucky because back in October, you remember the actors were on strike? The union actors? And that's another reason I wasn't in it, because I'm a union actor, so I didn't wasn't put myself in it. And uh, the writers were on strike. So the crew guys we have for this movie are guys that work on real Hollywood sets. And they came in, the DP came in for real cheap to help me out. And he said, you mind if my friends come who work on sets? You don't have to pay them, you have to feed them. I said, all right. <laughs> so we got well, everything, the stars lined up. We had no real major problems for seven days. Everybody was having fun working on a set. I'm pretty a calm guy. I, I think I kept everybody pretty calm. Because if you're an asshole, you're screaming all the time, you're not going to have anybody working for you. So I was pretty calm. And I was, I was calm because I was grateful for everybody that showed up, the actors, everybody. There were days where, you know, you tell the story all the time. After we were done shooting, I, I was crying because I was so emotional that this was actually getting done. So. The uh, background of the other actors, what's it like? Do you have acting backgrounds? Other, yeah. Other you ones that you've had? Um, yeah, I um, used to live in LA, so I'm an LA actress, and also a stand-up comic, and then came back to Rhode Island. I had my life for Oh, yeah, you know? <laughs> I've uh, probably been in a fourth place in uh, Connecticut and Rhode Island. Uh, I've been in a couple of little commercials and some films. Uh, I met Nick about six years ago. One of the plays that he wrote, uh, many sides to the Reaper, I was in. So the Mafia play. Yeah, it was, it was a great play. And he did a, uh, two different versions of it, and I was in both yeah. of So, uh, you know, that's my background. Both my parents were entertainers, so we didn't have a choice. <laughs> um, so I uh, started real young, and then I had family and took time off. And then when my kids went off to school, started again. And uh, we said, well, let's see, about 2018, I did a the tour of 42nd Street, uh, the national tour, and just kept working from there. And so it's been fun. We've had a great time. I, uh, I went to URI for acting. Um, you did? I, I, <laughs> uh, they kicked me out after the first segment. Um, lived in LA for a little bit. 
um, been doing plays here and there, short films here and there, but yeah. Um, I kind of got me lines when I was in Wolf of Wall Street. Um, I was on the stock brokers during all that if anyone's ever seen it. There's like a lot of big scenes where they need a lot of people to slip back there. So, um, yeah, I'm making my way. Was your chest <laughs> hanging out? I, did that, yeah. <laughs> I had my, my contract says only one button is allowed to be buttoned on all sets. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of uh, local theater for a while. I actually met Nick back in the 90s. We were, um, we were on the set of Brotherhood. Oh, no, no, it was early 2000s. Early 2000s, okay. Yeah, yeah. See, time, time gets away from me. And I've, I've done a lot of local theater. I've done maybe four or five shows with Nick. It's still my first time on film, so. Okay. It's first time on film. He's awesome. He plays, he plays the church really rough. <laughs> You're not really acting. <laughs> Any other questions? A couple I more? Which, uh, oh, the badge? Oh, that was uh, uh, Mary Beth and uh, Sharon. These two ladies, you know, they went, I needed, it was like a last minute thing. I was like, oh my God, we don't have a badge. So she, she was a cop. So that was a cop badge, and she did a printout. I sent a picture of them, and they did a whole FBI thing with, within hours, they came to set. And I want to say that Sunday we were at Morelli's. John, what play did you do that afternoon? Um, it was uh, Love, Sex, and the IRS at Arctic. At the Arctic. So he filmed a scene with John in the morning. He left and did a matinee play, and then came back and shot another scene. It was like a 15-hour day, yeah, dude. It was, day. it was great. It was amazing. It just blew me away. It just blew me away. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Hey, one, one more? One more? Anybody? Come on, don't be shy. One more question. Oh, okay. Okay. Free one. Go ahead, go ahead. The, the woman who was uh, uh, working behind the counter at Borelli's on the phone? Yeah. Okay. Did she actually work there? No, that's a comedian. Oh? The girl who worked at Borelli's. Uh, Are you Nikki Hollywood? <laughs> that's, that's Karen with a C. Oh. Karen Leochi. She's a stand up comedian. She sounds like a Simpson character. <laughs> Okay. My favorite PMC line of all time. There's no such thing as bad publicity. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Somebody else had a question? I saw a, thir I saw a third hand. Change your mind? All right. Thank you, everybody. Hopefully, you'll see this on streaming one of these days.